Hello there. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up an alternating overlapping columns in Bricks Builder. This is what I'm talking about. So we're going to set up these columns that alternate automatically. So um, what we are doing is in a situation where you duplicate this section, the column will automatically switch. So let me take this column now. Okay, so we have three columns. I'm just going to duplicate this. So now we have one, two, three, four. So even if you see, even if I duplicated it here in the browser inspector, you can still see that uh, it still alternates. So we have four now. So if I duplicate it another time, you see we have one, two, three, four, five. And you can see it alternates automatically. So we're going to see how to set that up in Bricks. And this is also responsive. So you can see that at these breakpoints, it defaults to the regular uh, card layout with the image at the top and the content at the bottom. So let's jump right into Bricks and start. First thing we're going to do is to add a section. Sections in Bricks typically comes with an inner container. We're going to select the section and give it a class of overlap section. I didn't spell that right, but we'll go with that. And then I'm going to select the container and give it a class of overlap container. Inside that container, I'm going to add two blocks. So I'm just going to right click and insert, insert block, and then just duplicate it. The first block, I'm going to call it overlap image BG. That's what we're going to use for our image background. And the second one, I'm going to call it overlap content. I'm going to select the section and give it a color, a background color of off white. Just want to give it something like that. I'm going to select the container and make sure that the class is selected. I'm going to go here and set the direction to be horizontal. And I'm going to align the contents to the left. And then I'm going to set the contents to stretch. I'm going to go in and give it a minimum height of 55 rem. Ideally, I don't want my container to be smaller than this. So I'm giving it a minimum height. I'm going to select this block. That is the overlap image background. I'm going to set a background image. I'm going to set the background position to center center and set it to no repeat. I'm going to go to the style tab and then give it a maximum width. Let's give it a maximum width of 70% and then we'll give it a minimum height of 20 rem. Now it doesn't have any contents and we'll not have a content because we're using background images. So this will come in handy in the mobile breakpoints. I'm going to set the uh, position to absolute and then the top right and bottom I'm going to set it to zero each. Let's select the overlap contents class. Let's add a heading and let's add a text and a button. I'm just going to populate this with some text. So I'm going to select that block again, make sure that con that class is selected. I'm going to go back and align it. Make sure it's vertical, which is by default. That's good. Let's set the main axis to center and give a row gap of 2 rem. Now let's go ahead and set the background color to white. And then I'm going to set the margin top and bottom to 5 rem. I'm going to give it a 4 rem padding all around. I'm going to set the maximum width to 50. And that is because we want it to overlap this 70% width by 20. And so this is 70 and this is supposed to be 30, but we give it additional 20% overlap. So depending on how much you want it to overlap, if you want it to overlap by 30%, you can give it 60. So it overlaps by 30%. So it seems our color is not quite white. So let's go in and make sure that it is white. Now we have our overlapping column. In order to alternate it, I'm going to duplicate it. So we can have two for reference, but I will select one, select the class and go into the custom CSS. And we're going to write a media query. So I'm going to write at media and we want it to be maximum width of the tablet uh, size, the mobile, uh, sorry, the mobile landscape size, which is 768 pixel. So that will be 768 pixel. To target that section, we're going to write root and we're going to write nth, nth of type even. And we're going to target the overlap container. And we want to set the justify content flex property. 
So flex end. Okay, nothing happens because we made a mistake here. It's supposed to be minimum width because we want this to affect only the upper breakpoint. That is the min from here to here. So we don't want it to affect the mobile breakpoint. And then we're going to write another one. Root and of type even. Let's open and close that bracket. We're going to target the overlap image BG. And we're going to set the left to zero. So that brings this image on the second section that brings this to this side. And that is all for the alternating sections. We're going to preview it and see how it looks. And this looks good. Let's go to the front end and check it out. So that alternates. So if we come back here and add more sections, so I'm going to add two more sections. You can see that it automatically alternates every second section. The next thing we're going to do is to take a look at responsiveness. So I'm going to go here because this is where we want to start making our changes. I would like to give this a height so that uh, a height of 1000 so I can see properly. Now from here we want it to stack normally. We want the picture to be at the top and then we want the text content to be under it. So I'm going to go in and select the content and make sure the class is selected. And by default, Brick sets the flex wrap of a container to wrap at this breakpoint. And that's okay for our use case since we want it to stack vertically, but we'll stack it vertically anyway. So I'm going to set it to stack vertical. Next, let's select the overlap image. Make sure the class is selected. Go in here on the layout and let's set the maximum width back to 100% and we're going to set the position to static. As you can see now, this is why I gave it a minimum uh, height of 20% because, oh sorry, 20 rem, because these uh, will not have uh, content to push up the height. And then we're going to select the content, make sure that the overlap content class is selected and we're going to go to layout and we're going to set the margin top and bottom to zero and we're going to set the maximum width to 100%. So that solves the problem at the mobile breakpoint. So let's save this and take a look at the front end. So I'm going to check it on mobile device and this looks good. Everything looks great. Smallest phone size. Everything looks great. So that wraps up this tutorial on setting up alternating overlapping columns in Bricks Builder. If you like this tutorial, definitely you're going to like this tutorial right here. In this one, I demonstrated how to set up an auto-responsive Flexbox layout in Bricks. You're going to love it. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. More amazing tutorials are coming your way. Until then, peace out.